And we are back now with GMA Investigates. As millions get ready to fly for Thanksgiving, we got an airplane alert. It's about fumes that can enter cabins, make you sick. Flight attendants and crew members are calling on airlines to make big changes, and ABC's David Curley has the story. Emergency vehicles surround a jetliner. The first officer taken away on a stretcher, loaded into an ambulance. The captain of that flight was Dave Hill. We were both feeling bad during the approach and landing. Flight attendants, too. The entire crew, even some passengers, reported feeling ill. My whole life changed. My health um, to this day is not the same. Exposed, they say, to a neurotoxin leaking into the cabin air during flight. How? Because on nearly every jet, the air used to pressurize the cabin, the air you breathe, is directed from the engines. It's called bleed air. In the engine's oil is an additive containing that toxin, tricresyl phosphate, TCP. If there's an oil leak because of a broken seal or maintenance issues, it could mean fumes in the cabin, creating an odd smell like dirty socks. What do the doctors tell you? That I have central nervous system damage from the chemical. Memory loss, balance issues, headaches can result if enough of that chemical is inhaled. The captain says his symptoms were so bad, he was told by the FAA he was no longer safe to fly. Were you ever in the cockpit again? No, that, that ended my career. They pulled your license? Pulled my license. The flight attendants union says on average, once a day, there is a fume event on one of the 35,000 flights crisscrossing our country. Most incidents don't cause a problem. It's a safety issue that the airline should be addressing, and the regulators should be making the airlines address it, and they're not. The two main aircraft manufacturers, Boeing and Airbus, and the Airline Association, say the air on their jets is healthy and safe, pointing out that many aircraft have HEPA filters. Those filters can capture some, but not all, of the toxin, according to experts. We decided to check. So on five different flights, on four different airlines, we tested the air with these monitors. The other test is a swab test. So take this swab and run one side over the surfaces to see if any of the chemical is actually present on those surfaces. The results? Every swab picked up traces of that chemical TCP, which could be due to an accumulation from several flights. And the air monitors? While they didn't find the chemical, they did find evidence of small amounts of jet engine oil, which would suggest a leak. But while these oil leaks and fumes are possible, experts and even those who have been affected say the risk to passengers is low. What do I do when I get on a plane? How do I protect myself? There is no way. You should be worried about this. You should be aware of it. For Good Morning America, David Curley, ABC News, Washington. The FAA has responded to this. They say the air is safe on the vast majority of flights, but they also admit that air can be contaminated after certain mechanical failures. The Flight Attendance Union is asking airlines to make sure all aircraft have sensors and filters installed, which they say would detect those toxins, filter them out.